This is a Vermont Castings Intrepid II wood stove that I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experience with running this stove. So you have your main doors here and you have your ash drawer here. I typically don't use the andirons. You have a little air vent right there and another air vent on this side right there. And there are tunnels that go along inside the stove running back along here and running back along this side and that run along the back. They basically go around the ash pan. And those tunnels lead to this air vent right here. So when you have this knob here to the left, you can see the air vent is open. And when you have this knob here to the right, you see the air vent is closed, although you can see in this case it's not quite completely closed. And that's because there's a temper temperature sensitive coil that lives inside of this box right here. And if the stove isn't hot enough, even with the air vent completely shut, it will hold the air vent a little ways open to help give it a little more air to try to maintain uh, a proper burning temperature. As the stove heats up with that lever completely shut, the air vent will eventually close itself off. Now, if you are going to use the catalytic on this stove, the air vent, this knob needs to be shut, and you flip this lever right here forward and when you do that well if you can see it you really can't see it there's a panel in the back above above this there's a panel up in here let's see if you can see it so when I do that I should have a flashlight, but I don't. When the knob is pointing down, that passageway is open so the fire can go up into the chimney there. When you pull that knob forward like this, then that panel closes so that then the smoke and, the, and anything that's exhausting out of the fire has to go through this passage here, which then goes up and has to go down and underneath the uh, a, a channel here that goes through the catalytic element and then goes up and out. Uh, generally, I don't ever use the catalytic on this stove unless my heat range is in the yellow zone here on the stove thermometer. And because I can control the heat on the fire, um, plenty to my liking between using the catalytic converter and using this knob here, uh, I never tend to use a damper at all. In fact, I have a vice grip hooked up uh, over there on the damper just to make sure that it always stays open. Um, this stove is also uh, a top loading stove, as those of you that have one know. Um, so that's quite a convenient thing for being able to lift up the lid and drop wood down in here. Um, I replaced all the stove gaskets recently and uh, per the set recommended that I found it had a metal woven gasket that uh, I put in here, but I find I actually don't like it very much. 
because even after putting a lot of heavy things on here to try to press the gasket into place and uh, burning several fires through here, the, uh, the griddle is no longer flush with the top. So I intend to pull that gasket out and put just the, uh, the non-metal woven gasket in there like was in there before so that the griddle will come down and be flush with the top. Um, occasionally, depending on, uh, I often will pick up a shovel full of coals from a different wood stove and bring it up and put it in here and then to seed the fire and then set some wood on top of it to start a fire. And then of course you can start a fire from scratch with whatever your newspaper, sometimes I use uh, corn husks um, and things like that. But sometimes the vent isn't quite enough air so I end up having to prop the door open for a bit to uh, really get things going. Um, I find if you're using pretty dry wood, this fire can get, fire, uh, this wood stove can get really hot really fast. Um, so I find I have to watch it for the first half hour pretty closely um, because uh, sometimes that needle will go above the yellow zone and uh, so then I, I will close this down and sometimes have to turn the catalytic on just to cool the fire down. A lot depends on whether I'm using burning elm um, or burning oak or burning a mixture of the two, or sometimes we even burn uh, walnut and, uh, and hickory here. Um, if I feel pretty confident that the fire is going to start okay on its own, I may even start out with the air vent shut, uh, knowing that that vent on the side will probably remain open somewhat, but it won't be the same as it being all the way open. Uh, even on a cold stove, if I have it shut, it's never any further open than maybe, say, uh, it's trying to focus on the mitten rod, right around there. So, I think that probably covers things pretty well. So hopefully this will be a little bit better video uh, than the last one I made. Thanks. Any questions? Uh, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.